Hi Passions, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my home, and welcome back to another video, video. Oh, take two. Jesus. Woo, my Lord Atlanta. What's going on guys? What's going on? How you guys doing out there? Hope you guys had a wonderful Tuesday. It was definitely wet here definitely wet here well let's jump into this reaction video i want to talk about chrissy chrissy came out honey guns blazing girl looked good did 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 okay he's like okay i'm done with i'm done i'm done i'm bouncing back i'm, I'm, I'm here so I guess she had to push that promo out. And maybe that's why she was she came back on the channel. She said she wasn't going to show up on. Yes. Um the outfits were alright. I mean she she carried she were she carried them off well, I would say. Um nothing I would wear. Um no. Not at all. But she did look good. The girl looked good. I like that pants that she was wearing. It made her look small. Y'all think Chrissy lost some weight? Hmm. I, oh, I love that orange shirt dress. I'm a big shirt dress person. I love orange on me. Like this right here is um, it's my sweater dress. Love sweater dresses. Love shirt dress. I have a lot of shirt dresses and I have a lot, quite a few sweater dresses. I like when in winter with long boots that comes above my knees. Yeah. So the song. Comment down below and tell me what you know. <laughs> that song. Now, is Rod gone? Was she sending a hidden message? You know? An SOS? God, my sister wants to know about that darn kitty litter thing that I have downstairs. I'm gonna go down there. I'll take a picture of it and send it to her. Cause I definitely don't know what it is right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wanna hear something really bad. A couple days ago, I was talking to my husband and I said, did we ever pay our um, tenants back their deposit from the house they rented from us in Hawaii? And he goes, no. I said, you never paid XXX back? He said, no. I said, oh my God. I completely forgot because at that time when we left Hawaii, him and I was just going through it. You know, I know that there's no excuses. That's the first thing you should do. You know, but I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, you never, he said no, because I told him to handle it, okay? Because when we sold the house, all right, all that money, okay, had both her names on the check, but it went into his account and he never took care of it. Not that he, my husband's not like that, it's not like that. It's like we just had a lot going on. Okay, we had a lot going on. A lot going on. And I was like, he's like, baby, we reach out to them, please, and, and find out what where, where they're at and da, da 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 and let me know how we can get this settled. So I had to send the uh the husband. I reached out to both the wife and the husband. And the husband responded back to me and I explained to him, you know, and very briefly, like, you know, life happened. Um, and a lot of stuff happened, including me almost losing my life. So no excuses. Um, we're so deeply sorry, but so we sell them back their money today, honey. Cause I was like, oh my God, how could we, you know, how could we like, it's just, I was like, oh my goodness. So we just sell them back that money today. So, 
over and done with. I'm not, we're not trying to keep anybody's money. Okay, like I said, we ain't rich. At least not like that. We ain't no Bill Gates over here, but we don't want nobody's money. I know I do. I don't borrow. I don't rent. No, I buy. Okay, I don't lease. Never have, never will. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't think I could, I, I don't think I could ever do a um Airbnb. I don't think I could. Mm -mm. No. So God, I'm so glad we. I am so glad that's over and done with. I, I hope it doesn't um reflect on on the website. You know, like I hope not, and, and I have to go check to make sure there's no negative comments there. Because we weren't trying to take nobody's money. So, Y'all, we were going through it. Okay? We were going through it. And I say, so, yeah, they got that money today. We're done with that. And, and, and y'all, I feel like I, it's bothering me. I guess I'm still talking about it because, you know, like I, I feel bad. I'm like, oh dear God, like what are they thinking? Da, 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 da. I hope they're like you know, like, wow. You know that the the, the XYZ reached out to me and you know, they're like da, 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 and they sent us the money today, you know. I don't know what happened, but I'm glad that they you know, maybe we were just wrong about them. If there was anything negative, because I know I will be I'll be cursing us out. I'll be cursing us out. And y'all know y'all would too. Y'all, this person's texting me and I have no idea who, who she is. Hi, this is so-and-so mom. And I'm like, hi. I mean, they're in my uh, saved numbers, right? They're in my contact list. So I must know this person, but I'm talking to her like I know she is and I don't. I really don't know who this person is. So I'm fishing around trying to find out. So I guess I have to go to text my family and ask who the heck is this person because I don't remember. I'm, I, I'm, I'm aging, y'all. I'm getting up there in age. The old brain ain't like it used to be. The breakup. So, what do you guys think? You know how these, um, you know how they are. You know how uh, how these content creators are. What they say and what they do is not how it is. Okay, it's all for um, attraction. It's to draw us in to their web of God knows what. Yeah, so we all all know that we all know how they are now. Like I said, what they say and what they do is not how it really is. So if you all think it's a true breakup, like current rod is over and done with, comment down below. Let me know if you guys think think that she's like saying, you know, us and her, you know us and her and her channel number don't broke up let me know okay let me know what y'all think i would love to know is rod there is he not is rod still behind bars is he not is rod somewhere else about to be someone else's bay let me know i hate that damn name bay oh it's so Ghetto, God, just ugh. Well, we are going to um, go over to live. Let's go, y'all. See what's going over there. Last time I I dropped in, homegirl was on a um 
she was looking like a wet rat wrapped up in a butterfly blanket black and white butterfly blanket saying she's not gonna she doesn't, she don't feel she's on, on a live she don't feel like going anywhere but I'm gonna vlog for you guys though yeah I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be vlogging guys what should I do I mean I haven't even packed yet Yo, when I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm going out, what? I pack five days, five weeks in advance. <laughs> I'm serious, and nothing in my closet works, so I have to shop for everything. Okay, because oh my god, that was my um, that was my weakness in my marriage. Yeah, spending shopping was it that that does tear a couple apart money and sex okay money and sex yeah the more he did him the more i did me <laughs> i mean i did me you know, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So, um, let me, I like to react to Olivia. Okay. When I'm talking to you guys, like same time, I don't, I don't like to watch her and then react because y'all don't get the, the, the real and the raw. Okay. Like Chrissy. What's going on, girl? I mean, I, she said she wasn't gonna show up, but she here, here she goes, back on the block. Let's see how long before she pops up again. Good luck, gorgeous. Do you? I'm not coming out here crying no more. Chrissy, please do not come out here crying anymore. Okay. Y'all see, I'm getting sleepy. It's getting late. It's past my bedtime. But I'm going to do this little video on Olivia and get the hell up out of here and go get all this shit off my face. I tell you, I've got to really start doing my fine time in the mornings to do this because I do not like putting makeup on my face at night. No, I don't like it. At the end of the day, I, daytime either, but nighttime, I just, just don't like it at all. Okay, here's Olivia, chewing her gum like a hungry cow. She's going through it. I don't know what she's going through, but let, let's find out. That we will never, but. She's been going through it. She needs some energy. It's gonna be a long night. But what y'all do now? Oh God. This is torture. Ooh. Jazzy got a video hey, out. Hey everyone. I'm so sorry. Sorry y'all. This is it. I'm done. I'm dealing with some stuff just now. We gonna do that before I go to bed. This is ridiculous. She's supposed to be going going on some trip, but she's like with her man. Like what could be that bad? And that depressing that you can't get yourself together and pack to to to, to go. Like when I'm go when I'm traveling, oh child, please. From the day the date is set, I'm shopping. Okay, making appointments for facial, hair. I don't do my hair then. Nails. What? Oh yeah, this is just a waste of my damn time watching her. Like for real. Let me let me just move up me so I can get, get anything and get anything juicy. It's gonna chew like a damn cow. This is annoying as Honestly I can't and the damn chewing
you have anxiety anxiety about what what are you shaking for this is all fake shit this is all pretend let's see if she goes on a vacation let's see if she, if she blogs a damn vacation okay i don't know where she is in some corner of her house like like she's on like she don't like she needs a fix Don't need it. Let, let, let me stop. Oh God. This is not pretend. Okay, this is not pretend. Pause. She's asking her loyalty gang to stop sending her things. At first, I thought it was like baby shit, but no, it's. I guess she's been, um, they're DMing her stuff from, from, from the YouTube streets. She needs a break. She needs a month. Don't send nothing more. Okay. What are they sending, girl? Let me know. I want to know, don't you? I would love for anyone out there who is uh, who has subscribed to Olivia's Patreon channel if she has put anything out there because every time I watch this young lady all I ever hear is promises about her I'm a vlog I'm a vlog y'all I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog everything oh I'm vlogging oh I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging um I have some stuff coming and it's coming I'm a vlog I'm, I'm just gonna yeah, I, you know, I should be putting up some new stuff tonight. Like, please. Because you know what? Oh my God, I was just reminded of something. They're not getting my money. I'm sorry. Nobody out there is that important for me to go spend $1.99, much as $20 damn dollars to watch. I don't think so. I don't think so. I will sit here and watch your depressed, depleted, defeated, deflated, defeated, okay, looking like a wet damn, that's okay. I'll wait for my YouTube notification and I'll go see what's going on over there. Now, what I remembered, oh my God, I did this video and I posted it but it didn't it for some reason it, it just won't show and i deleted it from my from my uh my phone so i don't have it to repost it but it was a little bit over an hour long and i uploaded to youtube but it didn't post it says arrow something like it gave me an error message but in that video was about olivia it was good too oh my god it was good i was um commented on her video she did about cheating okay how she was influencing her subscribers to cheat uh, she she would say that she wasn't but she was okay y'all know the one thing people like olivia and jasmine like is people who are just like them they want to see people on their level or lower okay or lower you, you, you can't do better okay now in that video that never got uploaded to YouTube I say this if you guys want to see what is going on in Olivia's life if you don't want to pay the $20 because $20 is a lot of damn money okay That's about $240 a month. Y'all see chicken wings? A pack of chicken wings that used to be for $8 damn dollars is now for $19. Eggs used to be for $349. It's almost $6. Milk used to be for $399. It's now $7. Pampers, almost $50. Should I go on? 
your light, your need clothes, you need some new drawers from Walmart, Target, or Victor's Secrets, wherever you get the drawers from. Your rent, your mortgage, your car notes. I mean, 200 bucks can barely put food, give you a full refrigerator full of food or half your pantry. Gas. That's a lot of money to be given to someone like this. God, I gotta go downstairs and get my sister. I mean, I, y'all can't even see it. Why is she worth 20 bucks? Why is she worth your money? Why is she worth food out of your children's mouth or child's mouth? Why is she worth your light bill? Why is she worth money that could contribute to your rent or your mortgage or your car note or your insurance? Why is she worth money that can go in your safe? That is money that you could be putting away for a rainy day towards your emergency fund. That is money that can go towards your emergency funds. If you're sick or you lose your job, you have a little cushion. Why is she worth 240 bucks a year. I don't fucking get it. What is so, why are you so, and why are you guys so invested to be investing in her bullshit? Every time I start a video, it takes a whole different turn. Jesus. I never go in the direction in which I intend to go. Like, I don't get it. Now, if Olivia was teaching a class and how to be a master at YouTube, like, I need a class. Chrissy, why don't you have a one girl? Because I'm attending, okay? I'm showing up. Um, well, nah, I'm not. I'm not. My kids can do that. I, I'm not. I'm not. Scratch that. Not my money. Mm-mm. Um, oh, y'all know I sent Chrissy. I, I've given Chrissy money before. I have. I also bought her a broom off her registry at Walmart. I sure did. And she showed it up. She showed it on, um, I, she ended within her house using it. She sure did. Uh, she was like, Thank you, so whoever bought me this broom. It was me, Chrissy. I did. I did. I did. Um, yeah so if you guys want Olivia to come back on YouTube here's what you need to do you guys want to stop paying that 20 bucks I mean y'all cannot be that damn loyal or that damn stupid or that damn invested dear God really <sighs> if you can afford to give that money away every year, y'all send some my way. I'd gladly take that shit. Damn. I mean, oh, Lord help me. Y'all, some gray goose in here or some um, Ciroc watermelon oh my god would go amazing in this and just squeeze a little bit of um lime juice in this what y'all i'm a mixologist okay to be a bartender best damn bartender in this i won't tell y'all where because if y'all go google it y'all will find me and yeah that ain't gonna happen
so if you guys would like for, for um I hate smacking my lip I freaking hate it oh my god why did I do that I've done it twice now so if you guys would like to know how to get um, Olivia back to YouTube stay off patreon stay off patreon and unsub y'all can always go back like no more money I see how quickly she brings everything back to YouTube I mean I don't know what the hell she's doing with patreon I just don't know boycott the don't say that don't say that Boycott the girl. Boycott her channel. Walk the fuck out. Walk out. Walk off the job. Because you guys are employ her, her employees. That's what you are. Like, unsubscribe from her YouTube channel. And don't go to Patreon and see how fast this woman stopped pumping out videos. See how quickly you guys will start, start seeing stuff you ain't even seen over at Patreon. Okay? Money will make you do some crazy things. Everybody wants money. And when your money starts to dwindle away, okay, and depletes, what? <laughs> Y'all see how fast. That girl get her ass up and get y'all some videos and just spill all the damn tea. I mean, try it. Try it. Like, boycott her for a month and see what happens. Not even a month. I wouldn't say a month. Oh my God. Like, three days. Three days and see what happens. This is not worth it. Not my money. Oh, this. I can't see it now. Well, I'll be darned. That's that. That's not worth it. Are you shitting me? Come on, man. For what? <sighs> Good luck to y'all. Good luck. I am watching this girl and she is so full of herself. Like just doing the most. Like I like her head. This girl got a big ass head on that big ass body. Okay? Conceited as a mother mugger. And there's nothing more ugly than a person who 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 just projects this kind of arrogant behavior why don't you just go through the damn wall it's disgusting to me I mean she just sits here and plays with you people She had to get to 200 likes to, to, to let off the load. And it's always the same bullshit. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of where I've come to and where I've gotten and what I've gone through. And when she get her 200 likes and the same song singing by the same jackass on a different blessed day. getting some help what kind of help mental help just go just <laughs> yeah, hold on a second hold on rewind <laughs>
me up down there. Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta pause this. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Let me know when you go into. <laughs> God forgive me for cursing. I'll try very hard. Yeah, my stomach hurt. My back hurt. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> trying very hard to stop. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Jasmine now coming out telling us that she gonna go see a therapist. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> These girls are ridiculous. This is why I don't need Netflix. No Amazon Prime. No HBO. <laughs> no, no Cinemax. <laughs> that shit. No Hulu. What do you need all that for? Well, you have these damn clowns. <laughs> Olivia. You know what? I have never met a therapist that didn't need a therapist. Whomever her therapist will be, <laughs> they're going to need a th two therapists. A psychiatrist and some medication. <laughs> oh God, good luck with that. But you know what, though? Yeah, Olivia, you do because, honey, we ain't it. Your subs are not it. Are you it? I'm not it. No, 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 no. Uh uh. <clears throat> And then she come out looking like this, right? Saying she gonna go see. She gonna go talk to somebody. She need to talk to somebody. But you know what? All fun and joke aside, I think it's good that she's doing that because I believe Olivia do need to speak with someone. She have displayed some really, un, you know, unbalanced mental stability okay it's just not balanced and she has gone through a lot she's experiencing and i believe still <clears throat> a lot of unsettled and resolved issues and i don't think any mother because i know i was that mom i don't think any mom whose child is you know removed from her bosom is okay if you're a mother and you choose to have your children to give them life and to you know nourish them to a certain age and they get then they get taken away from you regardless of whom whomever they went to okay that's not something easy to deal with it's just it's just not okay it's it's just not so kudos to you Olivia for finally admitting because the first thing to healing is to admit to yourself what you need that's the first step and that is such a true saying 
that the first part of starting to heal, the starting process of healing, is to know when you need help. Is to say, you know what? I can't do this alone. Okay? Yes, I have my God that I pray to, but that's why he gave people knowledge, okay, to be therapists and psychi psychiatrists, psychi which one gives medication? Which one does Whatever, psychiatrists, psychologists, and, and all of that. Okay, that's how we have counselors on all different scales. Okay, sports counselor. Okay, you have counselor for <clears throat> domestic violence, counselor for mental, you know, instability. I mean, just all of that. So, Olivia, yes, I, I, I girl, it was, I ain't lying. That was real. Y'all, I, I still want to crack up, but <laughs> to hear her say, I think I'm going to go talk to somebody. I, I, I need some help here. Girl, <clears throat> you're going to come back. Just don't go there and make anybody want to go jump off a damn bridge now. Just don't do that. Now here, Olivia is saying that the reason why she wants to go see a therapist is because she needs to understand why she's so forgiven. Why she just keeps giving the people chances after they done screwed her over, okay? Now I need to know, did her new man screw over? Did he do something to her Why she's looking so damn tore up like she was in, she was like fighting with some pit bull or she was rolling around with, with some pigs out back? Cause she looks like a damn wet rat, okay? That's in uh, New York sewer, like for real. She looked tore up. So I'm thinking this this vacation that she's supposed to be going on that she's not ready to go on. Like, just say what happened. You and your new man got into it. Did he? Did he? Like, what? What happened? Did did, did he cheat on you, Olivia? Hmm. So she wants to know why. Why do I keep forgive? even when there's rocks and dirt and shit thrown in my face because Olivia you are desperate for love you are empty and hollow inside because you yourself has not found love within you you're looking for that comfort and for that void to be Fulfilled by a man, which is why your legs are constantly open, which is why you wouldn't to just put anything between your thighs. If it's not a sex, if it's not a sex addiction you have, then it's uh, I'm it, it's it's uh, I gotta have love. Maybe because your dad did not fill that void for you. Your mom was a jellyfish mother that you do whatever you wanted to do. Because let me tell you something. Kids needs discipline. Because discipline is a, is, 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 is a, it's an act of love. Because I care about you. You cannot go with your friends to the movies. Because... Tommy, okay, I don't like the way he behaves. I don't like the way he speaks. They don't understand it then, but they will get it later. Okay. The reason why people allow others to do them wrong, because they have set no boundaries in their life because they weren't disciplined. Mom didn't have boundaries. Mom didn't have rules. Dad weren't there to create any or to set any. That was never an example. I believe from listening to Olivia, if there is a new man in her life, he done fucked her over. At the 24 minute mark and 27 seconds, Olivia, Olivia says that she know what she do and she know what she don't do. Admitting them Knowing them is one thing. To, to have them locked in your brain is one thing. But to verbally hear you say, I did X, Y, Z. 
it frees you because you're not to just to just know it's so much different from admitting like verbally say oh my god here's what I did I did these things it will tear you apart okay but it will it will definitely pull you back together again it pulls you apart to empty out the baggage and the pain okay but it definitely heals you slowly but surely it heals you here she is talking about Gerard about oh god she wants things to be fair and things will never be fair Olivia get over it been there done that you done effed up okay you did not want things to be fair because if you did you would not have tried to maliciously maliciously do things to make Gerard look bad hold the kids away from him okay and all the extras that you did let me tell y'all something as many times as my husband have done me wrong I have never disrespected him never now I've thrown things at him this is why verbal abuse is worse than mental abuse you, you just because words you can't take back words words are how, it's, it's how you truly feel when you look at a person and say I can't stand you I hate you you're disgusting to me that is how you truly feel then when you say sorry it cannot erase that it cannot when a person when I throw when I threw that rock glass at my husband he knew exactly why I threw the glass but he did not know how I truly felt the feelings that allowed me to throw it with the strength that I did to let it go just let the glass go and hit him and he has never verbally disrespected me now all the other stuff he did yeah that was disrespect but that was more about him not about me he was missing something he needed something that I could not give him he had unsettled issues from his past he was in the environment where that thing where, where whatever he was doing was normal and he wanted to be a part of all of that he didn't want to be left out you know weak-minded If my husband had an issue with me, we would not be back together. Let me tell y'all something about a man. A man needs love, he needs respect. And as much as he may do wrong, okay, he still needs to feel like a man. I'm serious instead of you playing tit for tat he cheats I cheat you know he lies I lie he disrespect I disrespect he calls him bitch I'm gonna call him bitch ass nigga leave leave because just like with me and my husband end of the day because I gave my husband space and I took myself away from his issues because his issues was hurting me. And I, and I was like, uh-uh. That, that's your shit. Go deal with it. Okay? I gave him time to just be himself, do himself, let it all out. And see where? Now he's the perfect man. Like with Gerard. Had Olivia just been at home with the children, something I should have done not go off and do her thing okay 
and maintain her home. Keep her legs closed. She will now have the man and Tanisha have. Sometimes a man just need to know that, you know what, I have a good woman. I just need to clean up my dirty act. When a guy, when a man cheat, it's not you. You're not the problem why he's cheating. Not every woman now can handle that. I'm like, oh, 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 hell no. First time, I'm gone. I'm not dealing with that. And it's not about accepting. You don't accept cheat. You don't, no one accept cheating. No one does. I did not. But I did want to play a little bit, but you know. <laughs> I mean, with my husband. <laughs> Y'all, I'm crazy, okay? Um, um, but Olivia, I'm going to end that there because I'm about to hit an hour and I don't want to do that. Gerard has moved on. You claim you have moved on. You got a new boo-boo. Leave Gerard with his future wife because, honey, you done messed that up. You know, you, you done... Like if Olivia was a good woman that wasn't trying to, you know, ex um, constantly throw her husband under the bus for a YouTube check. And maybe her and Gerard would be together right now. The kids would be with her. But she wasn't concerned about her children. She wasn't concerned about Gerard or her marriage. She was concerned about everything else. And making a coin so she used her marriage for content and her children and now once again she's somewhere in some corner looking like a a, a, a New York a New York sewer wet wet rat complaining but it's good that you're gonna get help because girl you need it and the reason why my personal thoughts on this the reason why you keep you know, forgiven and, and, and accepted and keep taken because you're, 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 you're looking for something that you must first fulfill with yourself. Healing start with self. Love start with self. Acceptance. As many times as you come on here and say, oh, I love myself. I accept myself. You don't. You just don't. Because if you did, None of this would bother you. You will just accept what you have done, your mistakes, learn from them, and move on. That's what you would, that's what you'd be doing right now. When when you can stand in the mirror and look and say, Oh my god, I did this. You hurt me. You broke me. Hmm, don't make me tear up. <laughs> Gerard didn't hurt you. Okay. Whew. That was, um, that was a tough one for me. But, yeah. Just, um, guys, just know that there's nothing a man can give you that you can't give yourself with God. You know, God has got all that in store for you. You know, I've, I've seen a therapist before. There's nothing wrong with that. They didn't help me. I've seen like four. Got about maybe more than that. Damn. Oh, well, we God has some hell yeah, more than that. None, none, female, black, white, male, black, white, woman, um, Christian, Catholic, um, just all kinds, all kinds. They, they didn't help me. No, I helped me the day I took responsibility for hurting me. The day I took responsibility for walking out on my family, and I should have stayed and been the woman, the wife, the mother, and the friend 
to my marriage, all but the friend, the mother and the woman, the teacher and the counselor, okay? The nurturer to my children, excuse me, the maker and the builder of my home. I did not do that. So, you know, instead I just, um, I walked out, I walked away, I walked away. And I, I shouldn't have done that because when I did that, I, I, I you know, kind of, but with my, when, when my husband and I reunited, I didn't feel right. I just felt like, I don't know, it didn't feel right to me. I feel, like I, I feel like I messed up. Like I still, a part of me still hold myself responsible. Like I should have been there holding down the house while he went out there and did his thing. You know, like I have completely given my husband. I adore him more than ever. But for some reason, I'm still having a problem with giving myself. Like for real. You know, it's like you just have to you just have to take responsibility I just felt like and I still feel that I should not I mean I didn't I wasn't out there now being a hoe no I wasn't okay I was in a serious relationship with one person I knew 15 years before my husband and for a total of 15 years um, before my husband and we were, I lived actually you know planning on getting married if I had divorced yeah, number five <laughs> my husband but even though that was uh, that was a that was a, a, a good experience for me it wasn't anything bad but I still love my husband so it, it couldn't go anywhere you know it just couldn't and he knew that he knew that so you know we both just kind of parted ways but I just wish I did not I feel like I tainted my marriage and I did you know I don't feel so holy anymore I mean you know you date and you go on with other people before you get married but when you're married and you're with someone it's like they don't count it's what you do after you said I do that matters you know so yeah it's just cheating is not a good thing there's too much consequence that comes with it thank God <laughs> yeah but um yeah so olivia okay sarah sarah jared gerard wasn't you to be jared wasn't for you i wasn't to be for you yeah you botched that up well girl Go, go, yes, go do therapy because God knows you need it. Every time I talk to y'all, I just open a little bit more. Y'all my therapist now. Y'all number seven. <laughs> and if I just, I'm going to say good night. I'll be back. I'm going with the Jasmine. So I'll meet you guys over, no, this way or over there. I'll meet you guys over there. Anyhow, be blessed, be bold, be beautiful. But most importantly, be in love with yourself. That's where all the good things starts. Okay? And don't be afraid to say no. 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 Uh, guys, please like. If you don't, it's okay. Not everything is everybody. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So next time I'm... You'll be one of the first to know. Okay? So, passions. I appreciate you. Bye for now. Jasmine, I'm coming. <laughs>